Hi, this is Gil Robles again on uh, Sketchbook Pro again, and uh, I'm doing something just a little bit different. I'm I'm still uh, doing these quick uh, sketches on um, these quick portrait sketches. I I'm, I want to try and do something that has a uh, looks more like a Alla Prima uh, painting. So I'm trying to going to switch to a more broader brush as I go along, and also I'm using the the flat synthetic brush here um, and it, it's a uh, it's a little bit wetter than the other brushes and by wetter it means that as as I develop the painting it, it uh, smudges a bit more and rather I, I like the the coarse angular brush because it's more of a dry brush this one smothers a little bit more and uh, it blends in with the, the paint that you had laid down before. It, it helps to use uh, um, uh, the, the layers because uh, then, then it won't smudge as much. But uh, I just wanted to try something different. Just wanted to move on to some of the other tools rather than, than uh, uh, and experiment a bit rather than just staying with one tool. Uh, and uh, so here I am at the blocking stage and uh, um, just uh, measuring things, seeing, making sure that uh, everything aligns and, and I'm also uh, looking for the patterns of light and dark and so forth. Um, pretty much I do this as I would uh, if I were using oil paints or, or acrylics or something like that and, and because it, it uh, Sketchbook Pro, as great a program as it is, doesn't make you an automatic painter or artist it, it but but it gives you the same types of tools in digital form that if you wanted to if you wanted to you can do this on your computer and uh, um, and you know there are other advantages uh, to using digital media um, which I, I kind of got into an uh, I guess an, an argument with someone regarding digital and traditional media. Now, I, I am a traditionalist. I love using traditional tools, and and I love, and, and as much as I love digital media, to me it does not replace uh, oil painting and so forth. But it 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 is art. It is work, and it is um, it is legit. You know, and uh, the the one thing though, you don't have. Uh, uh, the the argument that I keep hearing is that you don't have uh, uh, an actual painting. You have a virtual painting. You have not something that you can hang on your wall. Um, my argument to that is that you know what uh, artists have used print mediums, and and a, and a lot of work goes into making an etching and, and a lithograph and and all of that. But you know the the main reason for doing this was so that they can uh, distribute their work to a wider audience at a cheaper price so you can make prints from uh, uh, um, uh, fr from uh, from digital work and you can sell those prints and and uh, um, and they are every bit as decent as as uh, as works that you would do on paper or canvas yeah. And also to, to that end, I just want to let everybody know that uh, I published the book or Pack Publishing pu uh, published the book on uh, essential painting and sketch essential digital painting and sketchbook pro that's available on the pack publishing website it's also available at amazon.com and amazon UK and um, and this is a book uh, where basically I, I discuss painting like this and and also just uh, run through sketchbook pro it's, it's recommended for someone who who's just starting in digital media or someone who's intermediate and, and would like to uh, improve their skills um, so and and I, I go over something like this I go over painting and I go over uh, pen and ink and I give you a rundown of uh, of the program and so forth and then um, uh, have a look at it have a look at it and like I said it's available on pack publishers I'll leave the website address uh, below this video here and um, 
It's also available on Amazon.com and Barnes and Nobles. It's called Sketchbook Pro Essential Digital Painting. Um, and uh, it's uh, it's available. Uh, so pick up my book. And also on the PACT website, it's uh, P-A-C-K-T. There's a, a sample chapter available. Uh, the sample chapter is in black and white. Uh, the the finished uh, uh, book is in color, of course. Uh, but, you know, it gives you a good idea of uh, where the book is headed. Also, you can uh, review the chapters on, on either Amazon or, or uh, uh, Barnes and & Nobles and, and also PACT. You can, by review, I meant you can, you can look through the table of contents and see what the book covers. Okay, so I switched back to the... Um, the angler, coarse angular brush, uh, a, a dry brush, and what I'm trying to do is uh, keep uh, a broader brush, as broad a brush as I can, not too small of a brush, because I, I want to give this feel of uh, uh, of this kind of ala prima look. You know, just uh, broad brush strokes, and, and uh, not really concerned about. Uh, the really really fine details but trying to give a a, a broad statement of um, of uh, the the planes of light and dark and also color again it, it, it really helps to, to use the layers and um, this layer, I, I I had I hadn't changed the transparency. Usually, I'm messing with the transparencies and, and uh, keeping uh, uh, adding things kind of like a, a glaze. But uh, right here, I'm just trying to, I, and also for for the look of that Ala Prima thing, I'm just trying to put tone against or value against value. And um, and also looking for things where they're either where where they're cooler or or, or warmer, uh, cooler being the blues and and um, those type of colors and a uh, cool grays, and also the warmer being the browns and the reds and so forth, and trying to play with those where the light strikes, it's a it's much cooler. And um, rather than just trying to blend that in, I'm trying to uh, just just uh, um, have the blue close in value to to the warmer colors in that area, so that it it looks natural. And um, I'm co coming closer to the finish, so I want, I want to just point out that I, I really held off uh, some of the darker darks and the lighter lights till the very end. Um, really trying to build a foundation before I, I hit these uh, darker and lighter accents.
and there you go there's the finished painting thank you very much for watching and again uh, one uh, subscribe subscribe you can also view my blog at uh, artinabusyworld.com and buy my book thanks a lot bye bye